Here's a tape recorder you wanted. I'll give you a few minutes. Um, they want us out of here pretty soon, okay? Okay, thank you. Hello, Dad. This is your son. I'm at the courthouse, and I just lost my final appeal, which means I'll be heading off to federal prison in about 10 minutes. My lawyer was nice enough to bring me this tape deck, Dad, so I can talk to you. Um, I don't think I can see you face to face, Dad, it'd be, it'd be too hard on me. And I don't think I can look you in the eye. So I'm afraid this is going to be the way we're going to have to communicate, at least for a while. I'm sorry, Dad, I tried to cheat the system. And you told me when we were kids, winners never cheat, cheaters never win. You were right, Dad. Sooner or later, sooner or later, you're going to get caught. And I was going to do just one more job. One more job. Just one more scam for the ages. And then I was done. I was going to make my money, spend time with you, Dad, spend time with the wife and kids and enjoy the rest of my life. I remember you told me, Dad, you said, son, son, know thyself. Well, guess what, Dad? I know myself. And this prison thing, it's not gonna work out. It's, this is not gonna end well for me, Dad. It's just not. And I'm so sorry, Dad, because this is now going to be my legacy. My legacy is going to be 11 years of federal prison. You don't deserve the humiliation, Dad. I'm so sorry. Dad, I want to tell you, you are the best, Dad. You remember when you used to drive me and my brother all around Minneapolis to our Little League games? You had to work, but you would take time off to drive us all around the cities just so we could play baseball. And then when I was 12, nobody wanted to coach us because we were so bad. But you stepped forward, Dad, and volunteered. Thank you so much for doing that. You could have been doing other things. You could have, you know, taken time off and relaxed or worked extra and made some money. But no, you came to coach our Little League baseball team. And then I remember in the winter, going down to the ice-cold hockey rink in Minneapolis when it was 30 degrees below zero. And all the good, big kids would fight us and beat us up and not let us play hockey with them. So you recognize that, Dad, and you built me and my brother a little hockey rink in our basement. You put blue lines on the floor and red lines to mimic a NHL ice surface. And you put logos all around so we looked like we were playing in a real NHL arena. And this is how I repay you, Dad. I'm so sorry. As I was sitting in the courthouse today, Dad, one final thing that you taught me, it kept going through my head over and over. You said, I think maybe I was 16 or 17, you said, son, money is really dirty, and money isn't even real. I never know what you meant. Thought, why is money dirty? What do you mean money's not real? Everybody's always using money. But as I was getting sentenced today, Dad, for some reason, that statement and thought kept finally going through this hard head of mine. Finally, finally, I understand what you meant. Money is dirty, and it sure isn't real. I got to go now, Dad. They're going to come and get me, but just remember, 
May the wind always be at your back. And may the sun always shine upon your face. I love you, Dad, your son, Steve.